So I did a video some months ago comparing the RV-15 from Vans Aircraft to the Sling High Wing. And uh, it, it was meant to be more of just two brand new experimental high wings that debuted at, at uh, Air Venture this year. And uh, I got lots and lots and lots and lots of comments about how those don't compare at all. And uh, I realized that uh, they're very different. So today I wanted to talk about what does the Vans RV-15 compare to? So when I first thought about doing this video, I thought that I would have an enormous list of aircraft that were just like the RV-15. Uh, I saw the plane at, uh, at Air Venture. Uh, along with a lot of other stole aircraft, and I'm not a, a stole pilot. I, I've never flown a stole aircraft. Um, I don't have any friends that have stole aircraft, so I'm really not in that world. So this has been kind of a good learning experience for me. But when I started really digging into it and looking at what the RV-15 is, there's not a lot that directly compares to it. And there's a couple of big things that make differences between the RV-15 and what's out there. So I put together a little list of what the RV-15 is. Um, stole capable, rough field capable. I think those are two different things. Side-by-side -side seating is a big one. And then the mostly metal construction is another big one that's there's not a lot out there. Um, fast cruise, 900 pound useful load. Uh, all of those are, are important uh, parts of the RV-15 that you're not seeing all of those together in very many other aircraft. So what is Stoll? Uh, I pulled up the definition. Uh, I went to trusty Google search and it pulled up a Wikipedia article uh, on Stoll and it had a definition. And the definition comes from uh, Department of Defense NATO and Stoll. Uh, short takeoff and landing, the ability of an aircraft to clear a 50-foot or 15-meter obstacle within 1,500 feet of commencing takeoff or in landing to stop within 1,500 feet after passing over 15-foot or 15-meter obstacle. So obviously that's one definition and there may be other definitions out there. Uh, so that's kind of an interesting starting point. Uh, out of curiosity, I, I looked up um, the specs on a Cessna 172, 182, uh, and a couple other, the sort of the popular Pipers and Archer and, and uh, Cherokee and all that. Just kind of curious. And uh, for the most part, they fall outside of that definition. They're not considered stole by this definition. But I think when most people think stole, they think much, much shorter takeoff and shorter landing than 1,500 feet. I think that they think more in the hundreds of feet, a few hundred feet, um, maybe out to six or 700 feet, but certainly on the lower side of that, I think is what most people would consider as stole. In regards to uh, rough field capable, I think that, uh, again, most people go to big tires, big suspension system, uh, good ground clearance, uh, and able to uh, slam it in on a sandbar or the side of a mountain, uh, and, and not damage your plane, keep the prop out of the dirt and the rocks, uh, and be able to take off again when you're done. So another point of comparison is the side-by-side uh, -side seating that the RV-15 is going to have. Uh, most of the, the Carbon Cubs, the Super Cub clones, uh, they all have tandem seating, uh, which to someone who wants side-by-side -side seating, uh, it could be a showstopper for them and they just look elsewhere. So I think that's an important distinction between a lot of the aircraft currently on the market. So fabric in the construction of the aircraft is another difference between the RV-15 and a lot of its competitors. Uh, as you can see here, <laughs> these are not exactly what I'm talking about, but you get it. Uh, fabric in the wing, the empennage, the control services. Uh, it's often used in uh, stole aircraft, and it just makes it a little different from the RV-15. So in my search, I did come across one aircraft that uh, checked a lot of the same boxes as the RV-15. Uh, sadly, it's not in production and this example is no longer with us, but it's fun to look at. Continued on through a lot of the popular stole backcountry capable aircraft that you see in uh, YouTube videos and uh, all over the internet. And uh, all of them 
have a lot of the same checked boxes as the RB15, but they're missing in others. Um, they're fabric skinned, they're tandem seating, they're much, much slower, uh, any number of things that make them different from uh, the RV-15. So the first uh, aircraft that I found that uh, starts checking more boxes is the RANS aircraft S-21 outbound. Uh, it's only a, a two-seat side-by-side. It is not a two-plus-two, but it's aluminum construction, uh, tail wheel. It's got uh, similar specs to what we think the RV-15 is going to have, so I thought I would include it as one of our options. Another company that makes a couple of aircraft similar to the RV-15 is Burphy Aircraft. Uh, they have two models, the Radical and the Yukon. Uh, neither one of them is currently in production. It says they're uh, under redevelopment, uh, expected 2023 in the spring. Uh, so uh, I don't have any good pictures of these. This is from their website. Uh, the Yukon has an IO390, which puts it in uh, power range with the uh, the RV-15. Uh, the Radical is a little bit smaller, uh, but it's got some other similarities, so it's definitely on the list as a, as a comparable. So the next one in the list is Glass Air Aviation's Sportsman. Uh, it's a two, they say four place, it's a two plus two, I think. The rear seats sit backwards, uh, which I think is going to be in line more with the RV-15. Uh, it is tail wheel. You can also get it in a tricycle gear. Uh, I think the biggest difference is uh, it just doesn't look as rough field capable. Uh, I'm sure you could take the wheel pants off and put some beefier tires on, uh, but you've got uh, spring steel suspension is what I'm reading. Uh, so it's not, uh, it's not as fancy of a suspension as uh, the RV-15 by any stretch. So Bearhawk Aircraft makes a model called the Four Place uh, that uh, is similar to the RV-15 in some respects and could be seen as a competitor. It's experimental, kit built, side-by-side -side seating, tail wheel. It has an aluminum wing, um, but it does have some differences as well, but would be on the list. And so the last company is the uh, the Sling High Wing, uh, which is what started all this. Uh, I compared it to the, uh, the Vans RV15 uh, in the video I did after Air Venture and uh, got a lot of comments about it's not even in the ballpark. So I had to throw it in here. Uh, it does actually check a lot of the boxes that the RV-15 does. Obviously, the, uh, the weaknesses, uh, it, it's, it's not going to take off or land nearly as short as the RV-15. Uh, it doesn't have that suspension like the RV-15 has. Um, it is going to be a very good long-distance cruiser. Um, it's probably going to be a little faster, we'll go a little higher, be a lot more fuel efficient, but it's different. Uh, but it still checks some boxes, so I thought I would include it just for uh, uh, grins and giggles here. I think actually the Sling High Wing and the Sportsman um, are, are closer uh, as competitors than to the RV-15 or any true stole aircraft. Well, that's the uh, five companies and six aircraft that I think are the most similar to the RV-15. Obviously, as I stated in the beginning, I don't think any of those are really true equals to the RV-15. Uh, and I think it makes the RV-15 a very unique aircraft uh, when it comes out sometime next year, hopefully. And uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what I think uh, is the closest. I think that. Uh, leave some comments. Uh, let me know what uh, what you think, and uh, we'll uh, we'll have some fun with this. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me uh, keep going with these uh, videos. Have a nice day.